Jordan, we're ready for our 30 minute core training. So if you have a tube and a couple different weighted plates, awesome, or anything around the house that would provide weight for you, or you can use no equipment and you'll still get a good workout. So grab your stuff. I'm sorry. No, you're you Perfect. Uh-huh. Okay. Sorry. All right. I'm going to get this going then. So we'll start with the warm-up. So you're going to lay side onto me. You'll come down to your back and your arms are wide. Relax your shoulders. And pull your lower back down the mat. Two, two, leg left up. Two, down, two. So tighten your core. Slowly control legs. Go one more. And then three times a temple. So you're going to twist to me and crunch in the middle. Same direction. Twist, crunch, down. All right, other direction. Twist to the back. Crunch and down. Keep your elbows wide. And lift your shoulder blades off the mat. One more. All right, back to the beginning. Two to the leg raise. Up, two, down, two. Make sure to relax those shoulders down the mat. Make your core do the work. All right, next level. Do not touch your feet to the ground right here. Let them hover just an inch or two over the ground. Just a little extra work for your core. Last one. Fingertips to temples, twisted. Front, middle, down. Same direction. Elbows are nice and wide. One more this way, other direction. To the back, middle, down. Woo! Yeah, we are going to feel some more. One more. All right, take your arms wide again, heels are close to bum, and come up through the bridge. So you're going to squeeze your bum to get your hips up high, and then we're just going to move it up. Halfway down, up, down, just a small pulse. Keep that going. All right, this time come all the way down. Reach into the temples. You're going to throw your hands for a triple pulse crunch. Up, two, Three and down. Next level, legs up. Shins come parallel to the ceiling, not any higher. Yeah, this is the last little push. And then, awesome. Woo, all right. Roll it over. We're going to move to our straight track. So we're going to set up that hover. So set up the hover, you're going to make sure that your shoulders are over your elbows. Your wrists are together. Knees are just outside the hips. Then you're going to lift your hips. Front arm's going to lead. We're going to make a circle. We press onto the ground. And then your other arm. Front arm, press it, and back. Do a little more, you can come to your toes, press. So think of the floor as your resistance. As you push that floor, you should feel that just a little more even in the core. Again, you can stay on your knees, that's the option. Nice and slow with those circles. Two, three, four. 
Okay, stay here, knee drops. Down, up, down, up. If you are on your knees, you're just doing the opposite of me. We're going to put these two moves together. So give me two of these. One more, front arm circles. Dig that into the ground. Two more drops, down, up, down, up. Back arm, dig it in. Woo, one more each side. Last one. And hold. Awesome, round two, grab your lightweight plate. You can use it. Roll over your back. Yes. So we're going to keep our head on the mat the entire time. Knees up. We're going to extend it out. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four. Nice and slow. If you want an option, instead of extending your legs, you can just tap the toes. We're going to speed that up right here. Out, two, in, two. Out, two, stop the plate over the chest. Woo! Definitely feeling that bite. Take the option as needed. Make sure the little back is not lifting off the mat. Okay, new move. Single leg walkouts. Just alternate them. Out, in, out, in. Okay, we're gonna put these two moves together. So two of these. Now extend everything. Out, two, in, go again. Walk it out, then extend. Woo! This is a lot of work for the lower abs. It's definitely our focus right now. One more. And hold it. Awesome, one more round. Looks just like the first round. So roll back over. Set up your hover. Get there as quick as you can. We're just going to hold this. You can start on your knees. It's a good idea. Let's circle the arm. Other side. Really press that hand into the floor. You want more? Come up. Keep your hips square to the mat. If you're rocking back and forth, come down to your knees. All right, double knee drops right here. Down, up, down, up. Okay, let's put them together. Two drops. Front arm circle. Woo. Do it again. Two drops. Back arm. Just give you one more on each side. Woo. Last one, yes. Should be burning. And hold. Woo! Done. Awesome job. Let's do some standing shakes. Come up. Grab your tube if you have it. You're going to step on the tube with your left foot. Double or single. Step wide with the right. I'm going to do single, so you always drop the inside. We're going to press forward with side lunges. So we go side to side and press the hands forward. You can also grab a plate or anything weighted in your house. We're gonna speed it up. So three, two, one, hold. Three, two, hold. So you wanna push your hips back 
and then bend one knee to the other. Your chest stays lifted and your core is strong. One more. Okay, we're gonna push diagonal slow and back in. When you come back to knees, square up your shoulders to me. So twist your chest, then square. Woo! Yes. So I'll get your heart rate up just a little. Okay, back to that triple. Out, in, out. Hold it. In, out, in. Woo! Keep it going. Two more. And hold. Awesome, other side. So, right foot is on. Single or double, step nice and wide with the left. So arm right now goes out forward, arms, I should say both of them. Right in front of you. Okay, speed it up. We got three. Hold. Hold. If you can get your hands chest tight, that's the goal. But if they're lower, just make sure they're straight. Diagonal, nice and slow. Out, two, in, two. Really twist your chest and feel your right side, your right oblique, line up. Woo, yes. Two more. And we have to speed it up. Give me three fast. Hold it. Woo. Halfway. Last one. Awesome. One more. One more move. Trick your leg. Or medium weight plate. I'm going to some side lunges with plate arms. So plate up. We're going to step wide with an arc. Then other side. So push those hips back. Stationary leg is straight. The leg that moves, you bend your knee. Next level. Alright, we're going to go to some single leg training. Eight here on the side. So eight, we're going to add on. Seven, and a lift. If you don't want to lift, tap. Woo! Two more. Switch sides. Stop the plate at the hip height. Don't let it drag you down. Make that core work to stay lifted. Woo. And done. Last one, we're halfway. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be in our nose for this one. Woo. All right, so step on. Both feet are on. Feet on your hips. Cross your handles. Pull up to hips. Right heel goes back to the corner. Out. In. So slide bend your left knee. And then squeeze your bum to get your right heel back to the corner. Okay, we're going to add on. We take it back. Side. Back. And in. Woo! If you need to touch the ground, that's awesome. You don't have to take your foot off. If you're feeling good, you can try a couple with your foot off. Two more. 
Okay, we're gonna take the foot back and bend the knee, lift and lower, up, down. So bend that left knee, hinge over your hips, but keep your chest lifted. Woo! We're gonna really load up our left leg. On challenge, keep that foot off the ground. Up, down. Man, the that extra burn the left leg if you do that. Abor! Woo! Okay, we're gonna do some squats. So take that foot wide. And then you back. Woo! Okay, stay down, keep the knee bent, but then just move that right leg back and forth. Just that last extra burn of your left leg. Delta. One more. Woo! Awesome. Halfway. So shake it out if you need. And then we're gonna come back and set it up. So make sure your feet are under hips. Pull your hands up to hips. Roll your shoulders. Weight in the right leg, left heel goes back, out, in. If you squeeze your shoulder blades together, that'll help you lift your chest. Oh, we got a bat on. Back, corner, back, and in. Woo! Remember, you can tap. If you need, two more, but you know we're not done. Take that left leg back, lift and lower. Woo. Up, down, up, down. Woo. Yep, owie. Keep it going. Keep the foot off the ground if you can. I need to adjust my team here. Woo, yes. Keep it going. There we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's squat. Come back. Woo. All right, this time keep the right knee bent. Just move the left leg. Man, right leg should be burning. Last one. Okay, take your feet wide, we're gonna squat. Down, up, down, up. So push your hips back, tighten your core. One last add on. Leg lift. Or kick back, same side. We have eight on the right, eight on the left to finish. Woo! Switch sides. It's burning. Four more. Three, two, and one. Done. Awesome, all right. We're gonna work our weights. No equipment in this life. Just come back down to your mat. We're gonna set up a plank. Woo! So, you can be on your knees or on your toes. Front knee will cross the body. Come up, cross the body. Back to start, same side. Front leg every time this round. We're working the obliques. We're going to speed it up. Over, front, over, start. Woo. So make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. Of course, your core is tight. Keep your hips and shoulders really square to the mat. Just driving that knee. You should feel that on your right side. Whatever side, if you got the knee moving. It's burning. All right, hold. Drop to your knees. Face knee. Extend the bottom arm. 
Other fingertips to tumble, lift your feet. We're just going to do a side crunch. Up, down. You can get a little push off that bottom arm. If you want an option, keep the bottom leg down. Woo! Yeah. Yes. That old thing is really burning. Woo! So squeeze that arm to hip. Yes. All right, a little different. We're going to do three here. Two, one. Hold at the top for three pulses. Two, three, two, one. Hold it. Three pulses. Woo. Pulse it. Oh man, it burns. Hold this one up. Hold, hold, hold. And draw. Yes. All right. Switch sides. So head, go the other direction. And then set up that plank. Make sure your shoulders are over wrists, toes, or knees. Front leg goes across the body. Comes up straight, across, back to start. Same leg. We're just loading up one side at a time on this one. Double time. Across, forward, across. Woo! Got to even it out. My other side is still burning. Got to feel it on this one too. Yep. Yes. One more set. All right, drop your knees. Face me. You know what's next. Extend that bottom arm. Feet up. We're going to crunch it. Up, down. So I think you're squeezing that root to hip. Hit that oblique muscle. Yes. You are almost there. Woo. You ready for the combination? Three here. Two. One. Hold at the top. Three pulses. Woo. Hold it. Two more. Back. We're just going to do some cross crawl to the end. So now you're there. Just get those elbows nice and wide. Lift your shoulder blades off the mat. We have 15 seconds. Last eight. Woo. Four, three, two, one. One. Yes. All right, we do one more track. Let's work our back. So, grab your tube if you're using it. You're going to want to pull on the tube in the middle to give yourself some more slack on the outside. And then bring your knees over. Make sure you have an even amount on each side. You can cross your handles or you can leave them uncrossed. Hinge forward and do flies. Up, down. Up, down. So really hinge over your hips to keep your chest lifted. Three pulses at the top. Three, two, one, down. Woo! Squeeze your shoulder blades. One more. All right, new move. Bend your elbows for two rows. You're going to extend and come up. Do that again. Hold. Extend. Come up. Don't think about necessarily how high your arms get right here, but 
I'm gonna get nice and long. Thanks for joining. 